Om Shanti. This is the Murli of the 29th of November, 2014. The essence is, Sweet children, your remembrance is very wonderful because you remember the father, the teacher and the Sadguru, all three together. The question is, when Maya makes some children arrogant, magrur, and what is it they don't care about? The answer, arrogant children come into body consciousness and have a don't care attitude about the murli. There is a saying that when a mouse found a piece of turmeric, he thought that he was a grocer. He was a pansari. There are many who don't read the murli at all and say that they have a direct connection with Shiv Baba. Baba says, Children, there are always new things in the murli, so never miss a murli. Let there be a lot of attention paid to this. Om Shanti The spiritual father asks you sweetest long lost and now found children, in whose remembrance are you sitting here? The father, the teacher, and the Satguru. Are all of you sitting in remembrance of all three? Each of you should ask yourself, Do I have remembrance only when I am sitting here? Or do I also have remembrance whilst moving around? This is a wonderful aspect which is not told to other souls. Although Lakshmi and Narayan are the masters of the world, you cannot say of those souls that they are the father, the teacher and the Satguru. In fact, you cannot say this of any other human being in the whole world. It is only you children who remember him in this way. You feel internally that that Baba is your father, your teacher and your Satguru and that he is the Supreme. Do you remember all three or only one? Although he is only one, you remember him with the qualities of all three forms. Shiv Baba is our father, teacher and Satguru as well. This is something extraordinary. You should remember this while sitting down and also whilst walking and moving around. Baba asks, Do you have the thought whilst remembering him that he is your father, teacher and Satguru? There can be no such bodily being. Krishna is the number one bodily being, but he cannot be called the father, teacher or Satguru. This is an absolutely wonderful aspect. So, you should say truthfully, whether you remember Baba in all three forms. At the time of eating, do you remember only Shiv Baba or do all three emerge in your intellect? You cannot refer to any other soul in this way. This is a wonderful thing. The Father's praise is unique and so you should also remember the Father in this way. Your intellect will then be completely drawn to the one who is so wonderful. The Father sits here and introduces himself and also gives the knowledge of the whole cycle. These are the different ages and this is how many years of each one lasts and this is how it rotates. Only that Father, the Creator, can give you this knowledge. You will receive a lot of help by remembering Him. He alone is the Father, Teacher and the Guru. No other soul can be as elevated as He is. However, Maya makes you forget to remember such a Father and you then forget the teacher and the guru too. Each of you should feel in your heart that the father is making you into the masters of such a world. The inheritance of the unlimited father is definitely unlimited. His praise should also emerge in your intellects. As you walk and move around, all three should be remembered. Only that soul does all three types of service at the same time. This is why he is called the Supreme. People arrange conferences etc. to find a means of establishing peace in the world. 
tell them that this is happening now and so they should come here to understand how. Who is doing this? You have to prove the father's occupation to people. There is a vast difference between the father's occupation and Krishna's occupation. Everyone else is called by their bodily names, whereas the name of that one soul is praised. That soul is the father, the teacher and the guru. There is knowledge in that soul, but how can he give it? He can only give this knowledge through a body. It is when he gives this knowledge that he is praised. You children hold conferences on Shiv Jayanti. You invite the leaders of all different religions. You have to explain that God is not omnipresent. If God is in everyone, then is every soul God, the father, the teacher and the guru? Tell me, do you have the knowledge of the beginning, the middle and end of the world cycle? No one can tell you this. It should emerge from inside you children that there is such great praise of the highest on high father. He is the one who purifies the whole world. Matter too becomes pure. At the time of a conference, you should first ask, Who is the God of the Gita? Who established the golden age of deity religion? If they say that it was Krishna, the father's name disappears. Or, if they say that he is beyond name and form, it is as though he does not exist. Therefore, without the father, it means they are orphans. They just do not know the unlimited father. They use the sword of lust and cause so much distress and sorrow for one another. Therefore, your intellect should churn all of these things. You have to show them the contrast. Lakshmi and Narayan are a goddess and God. Because theirs is a dynasty, they must ha all be gods and goddesses. So, you should invite peoples from all religions. You must only invite those who are well educated and who can clearly give the father's introduction. You can write to them and say, we will make arrangements for the travel and accommodation of those who are able to give the introduction of the Creator and the beginning, middle and end of creation. You know that no one else can give this knowledge. Even if someone comes from abroad and can give the introduction of the Creator and the beginning, middle and end of creation, we would pay all of his expenses. No one else can advertise in this way. You are courageous. You are Mahavirs. Do you know how they, Lakshmi and Narayan, claim the kingdom of the world? What kind of courage did they have? All of these things should enter your intellects. You are carrying out such an elevated task. You are purifying the whole world. Therefore, you have to remember the Father, and your inheritance. You should not just remember Shiv Baba, but you must also speak of his praise. This praise only belongs to the incorporeal, but how can the incorporeal give his introduction? He definitely needs a mouth in order to give the knowledge of the beginning, middle and end of creation. This mouth is praised a great deal. People stumble around so much to go to a gaumuk, a cow's mouth. They have created all sorts of stories. They say that an arrow was shot and the Ganges emerged. They think that the Ganges is the purifier. How can anyone be purified by water? Only the father is the purifier. The father continues to teach you children so much. The father tells you what to do. So, who is going to come and give the introduction of the Father, the Creator and creation? Sages and holy men know that even the Rishis and Munis used to say, Neti, Neti, neither this nor that. 
we do not know anything. That means that they were atheists. Now, see if there is anyone who is a theist. You children are now becoming theists from atheists. You know the unlimited father, the one who makes you so elevated. People call out, O oh God, the father, liberate us. The father explains, at this time, it is the kingdom of Ravan over the whole world. All are corrupt, but they will become elevated again. It is in the intellects of you children that the world was pure in the beginning. The father does not create an impure world. He comes and creates the pure world, which is called this temple of Shiv. Shiv Baba creates Shivalai, the temple of Shiv. You know how he does this. Neither does total annihilation, Mahapralai, take place, nor does a total flood, Jalmai, take place. They have written all sorts of things in the scriptures, such as, only the five Pandavas were left, and they then melted away on the Himalayan mountains. However, no one knows what happened after that. The father sits here and explains all of these things. Only you know that the father is the father, the teacher and the Satguru. These temples do not exist there. The deities used to exist. Their memorial temples exist here. All of this is fixed in the drama. Second by second, something new takes place as the cycle continues to turn. The father gives very good directions to you children. Some children who are very body conscious think that they know everything. They do not even read the murli. They don't value it at all. Baba urges you. Sometimes a murli is very good. Therefore, you should not miss it. If you have missed the murli for 10 or 15 days, you should sit and read them. The father says, challenge them and say that if anyone comes and gives the knowledge of the creator and the beginning, middle and end of creation, we will pay all his expenses. Only those who know about this will be able to issue this challenge in this way. Only when a teacher knows the answer can he ask a question. How could a teacher ask a question without knowing the answer? Some children have a don't care attitude about the Murli. They say, we just have a connection with Shiv Baba. However, you also have to listen to the things that Shiv Baba says, not just remember him. Baba tells you such good, sweet things, but Maya makes you completely arrogant. There is a saying that a mouse found a piece of turmeric and thought, that he had become a grocer. There are many who do not read the Murli at all. New points keep on coming up in the Murli. Therefore, you have to understand all of these things. When you are sitting in remembrance of the Father, you also have to remember that this Father is the Father, the Teacher and the Satguru. Otherwise, how would you study? The father has explained everything to you children. It is you children who will reveal the father. Son shows father and the father shows son. It is the soul that is shown. Then it is the children's task to show, to reveal the father. Then the father will not let go of you. He will say, today go to this place and tomorrow Go somewhere else. There is no one who can order that one. People will read this invitation in the newspapers. At this time, all the people in the world are atheists. The father alone comes and makes you into theists. At this time, the whole world is worth not a penny. All of this is going to finish. Out of the whole world, only you become worth a pound. There, no one will be poverty-stricken. 
you children should constantly churn this knowledge and remain cheerful. It has been remembered. If you want to know about super sensuous joy, about Atindriya Sukh, ask the Gopes and Gopis. These things only apply to the Confluence Age. No one else knows about the Confluence Age. By serving at a fast speed, praise the Confluence Praise of the Confluence Age may emerge. It has been said, O oh God, your play is wonderful. Aho Prabhu, Teri Leela. No one knows that God is the Father, the Teacher and the Satguru. The Father continues to teach you children. This intoxication should remain permanently in you children. You should have this intoxication until the very end. The intoxication now very quickly becomes like soda water. Soda goes flat. If you keep it for a long while, it just becomes salty water. This should not happen. You should explain to people in such a way that they begin to wonder. They say that it is good, but it is very difficult for them to make time to understand and make their lives like this. Baba does not forbid you to do business, etc. Just become pure and remember everything that Baba teaches you. That one is your teacher and this is an uncommon study. No human being can teach you this knowledge. The father enters this lucky chariot and teaches you. The father is explained, this is your throne on which the soul, the immortal image, comes and sits. You have been given that entire part. You now understand that this is something real. All other things are artificial. You must imbibe this very well and tie a knot so that every time you touch it, you will remember. However, you sometimes forget why that knot has been tied. You have to remember this very firmly. There must be knowledge as well as remembrance of the Father. There is liberation as well as liberation in life. Become very sweet children. Although Baba understands that you children study every cycle and claim your inheritance number wise according to the effort you make, the teacher who teaches you still inspires you to make effort. You repeatedly forget which is why you are reminded to remember Shiv Baba. He is your father, teacher and Sadguru. Small children would not have remembrance of this way. You cannot say of Krishna that he is the father, the teacher and the Sadguru. How could the prince of the golden age, Shri Krishna, be a guru? You need a guru at a time of degradation. It has been remembered that the father comes and grants everyone salvation. They make Krishna as dark as coal. The father says, By sitting on the pyre of lust, everyone at this time has become like coal. That is why he is called ugly. These are such deep matters to understand. Everyone studies the Gita. It is only the people of Bharat who believe in all the scriptures. They keep everyone's image. So, then, what can you say about that? It means that their devotion is adulterated. Unadulterated devotion is of only the one Shiv. Only from Shiv Baba do you receive knowledge. This knowledge is different. This is called spiritual knowledge. Acha, to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna. The first point is, renounce the intoxication of things that are perishable and maintain the spiritual intoxication that you are now changing from being worth not a pen penny to being worth a pound. 
God himself is teaching you and your study is uncommon. The second point is become theists, become astic and serve to reveal the Father. You must not become arrogant and miss any morally. The blessing is may you be a great donor and a bestower of blessings who donates to every soul while coming in relationship and connection with them. The explanation is, throughout the day, whoever comes into relationship or connection with you, definitely donate some power, knowledge or virtues to them. You have the treasures of knowledge and also the treasures of powers and virtues. So, let there not be a single day when you have not given any donation and you will then be said to be a great donor. The spiritual meaning of donation is to give your cooperation. So, give every soul cooperation through the atmosphere, through the Vayu Mandal of your elevated stage and the vibrations of your attitude, your vritti, and you will then be said to be a bestower of blessings. You will be said to be Vardani. The blessing once again is, May you be a great donor and a bestower of blessings, Mahadani, Vardani, who donates to every soul while coming in relationship and connection with them, while coming in Samband, Sampark with them. The slogan is, Those who are close to Bap Dada and the family always have a smile of contentment, spirituality, and happiness on their faces. Those who are close to Bap Dada and the family always have a smile of contentment, spirituality and happiness on their faces. They have Santushta, Ruhaniyat, Prasanta on their faces. Om Shanti